Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. We are going through the book of Exodus right now, and we are starting chapter 16 today. Chapter 16, we're going to go through that in four episodes, and it's really dealing with um, manna and quail. If you look at the overall thing, um, that's not the message of the thing, but that's kind of the instrument God uses uh, as a teaching uh, uh, to, to teach us, really, uh, what's going on here. So uh, today we're going to be reading from Exodus chapter 16, verses 1 through 5. And it's entitled, Was Your Past Really That Great? And so let's read this today here. Uh, remember, they have just come from, they have just crossed the river, the um, Red Sea, and Pharaoh's army has been destroyed. They, you know, We talked about it. They ha had a little musical, um, broke out into song, um, worshiping the Lord. And then now the last thing they did is they were walking for three days and they uh, ran out of water. And so um, God provided water after the people complained. Well, these people are kind of known as complainers. So let's reach it today. Chapter 16 of Exodus uh, verses one through five it says this. Then the whole Israelite community set out from Elam and came to the desert of Sin, which is between Elam and the Sinai. And on the 15th day of the second month after they had come out of Egypt, in the desert, the whole community grumbled against Moses and Aaron. Okay, this isn't the first time they're grumbling, but they're doing it again here. The Israelites said to them, if only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt, there we, would, we were around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. But you have brought us out into this desert to starve the entire assembly to death. Then the Lord said to Moses, I will rain down bread from heaven for you. The people are to go out each day, each day and you and gather enough for that day. In this way, I will test them to see whether they will follow my instructions. On the sixth day, they are to prepare what they bring in. And that is to be twice as much as they gather on the other days. So, uh, today it's in, entitled, Was Your Past Really That Great? These guys, the Israelite uh, people were complaining. And when they were complaining, they were, you know, saying, oh, we're in, a, in such hard times here. And then they were thinking back of being back in Egypt. And this is what they said. If only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt, there we sat around pots of meat and ate all the food we wanted. Okay. Um, and you brought us out here to starve. They seem to have a very uh, short memory. Um, they only bring up here how they sat and ate around pots of meat okay i don't know how true that was that they had um, all that food but they seem to forget that they were, left egypt because they were slaves they didn't they never mentioned that like oh i'm so glad that i we, why did you bring us here why didn't you leave us there in egypt where it was so great to be a slave okay and to be beaten if we didn't do our work and, and so forth but no, no, they don't mention that. They only mention like how great it was uh, to have all this, this meat and stuff like that. Um, so th they look back at the past and they look, they think it's oh so great them living in Egypt. Uh, not so great. God didn't rescue them because they were living a great life in Egypt. He rescued them because they had actually cried out to God because their life was so hard as being slaves. The thing is, you you look back at this and you think, oh yeah, that's that's fine for them. Actually, we do that too. Uh, we're like this today. We look back at our past life before we have become Christians, and we're like, oh yeah, before I was a Christian, I did this and that, and everything was oh so great. But then I came to the Lord, and oh, no, it's like your life was a mess before uh, you came to the Lord. And um, especially if you didn't have the Lord, it was uh, really a mess because that's the big thing is the Lord in our life. Um, but we, we forget about that. And then we, when we talk to others, we talk about how great our life was before we met the Lord. And it wasn't that great. Okay. We're, we're, uh, we fail to 
to say, oh, you know what? I, you know, I was drunk every night. I couldn't hold down a job. Um, you know, I, all this, uh, you know, my wife hated me. I couldn't even get a wife uh, because, you know, I was living for myself. And I was greedy and, and so forth. We forget about all that stuff, but we we glorify, you know, our past and like, oh, well, it was something great. Uh, don't do that. Uh, look back at your past and, and look at it honestly and go, mm, it wasn't that great. Um, and how the Lord rescued me. Um, just like what they're what these guys are complaining of here, we, we are guilty of the same thing. So watch that in your life. Thank you for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue our journey through Exodus. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then. Thank you.